More than a thousand people in the Pinal Debe Regional Corporation are said to be affected by flood waters and damaged homes as a result of tropical storm Brett. Chairman of the corporation, Dr. Alan Sami, said relief workers are out in their numbers trying to assist those affected, but they are facing several challenges. The problem, though, is, is that the way the water system runs or it works, the network is that when it rains all in the Princess Town area and eastern Pinal Debe area, it all has to travel through the Pinal and Debe districts proper. So a lot of people are affected all within those areas. We are a little fortunate in that it's low tide at this time, but as it rains, more water comes into the system east of us. So it's ongoing and it's going to take a while. If it rains later, we are in trouble. Mr. Sami said many people are still marooned at this time. He is also asking for members of the public to donate items which can be used by those affected, including mattresses, tarpaulins, and non-perishable food items. Final baby that has marooned us, some people isolated them. I know that we are making some effort this morning to see how we could address those issues. So if one were to um, count those figures, it's plenty. We haven't calculated the estimated losses. People have lost, even downtown Pinal, people have lost in their businesses. Um, a lot of drowned livestock is now being revealed to us. So that too is happening. But you know, it's, it's, it's unfolding a little slowly, but it's coming to our attention. And the Member of Parliament for Mayaro, Rushton Parry, is calling for assistance for several people in his constituency who were badly affected by Tropical Storm Brett. According to the MP, the roofs of more than 40 homes were blown off during the disaster. As a result, he is asking for people to assist by donating mattresses and tarpaulins. As it stands, the disaster unit of the Mayara Regional Corporation has been trying to cover some of these homes to prevent further damage, but resources are a problem. Demand for support. So we're trying to see as best within the constituency how much volunteers that we can get to lend some support. I mean, besides feet on the ground, we, you know, you, you need physical items, the mattresses, the beds, the pillows, you know, those kind of things. So, so we're, we're making some headway, not as fast as people would like, but we are making some headway through my office, through the office of the chairman of the corporation also. Because of the overwhelming nature of the demand, things are running a bit at snail space. He said based on observation, Mayara got off easy after the passing of the storm as people there are used to dealing with flooding and roofs being blown off. We had no reports of injuries to persons, which was excellent. All of our government buildings, schools and so on remained unaffected. I think only this morning Rio Claro Hindu School reported that there was some damage to one of their ceilings. Apparently it took some water the night before. So there was a collapse of a ceiling in there, but I haven't had any reports of any other government building businesses being affected by the, the weather conditions. And getting into and out of certain parts of the Sapara Regional Corporation is still very difficult. Its chairman, Dr. Glenn Ramadar Singh, updated us on what's taking place. Just getting into to the woodland is, uh, is uh, very difficult. And the Pluck Road um, area, we still have water there. And we have quite a few um, trees that uh, fell and um, maroon certain um, communities. We have about five houses that were totally destroyed, about 27 that were damaged badly. 150 homes were impacted and over 200 persons uh, in need of support, uh, that's food and, and water, and in some cases appliances and furniture. Hampers have been approved to be given to the most needy ones. The corporate sector has also contributed to assist those affected. However, Dr. Ramadar Singh said it may take up to 72 hours to reach all those who have been affected. But I mean, clean water is a, a challenge when you have all this flooding. You have to clean and, and, and get the homes back in um, restored to hygienic conditions. So that's what uh, we are working on right now. We are sending water and we are uh, giving um, supplies of bottled water to drink. Well, we had the Murray Trace area, we had the Darsan Trace area, we had the Tick Village area. Um, <coughs> we had some parts of Cedras and Carcass. Those were the main ones. And Faisabad. He confirmed no one was directly injured as a result of the storm. He said up to this morning, TNTAC was working to get power back up in certain areas. 